Are you traveling to Asheville, North Carolina, and you want to know the hotels that we recommend to our clients visiting from out of town? Well, hi, I'm Cricket with Asheville Luxury Brokers. I'm the president and founder, and today in this video, I'm going to talk a little bit about the hotels that we consistently recommend to folks traveling to Asheville looking to purchase real estate. So we're gonna explore some hotels today. The first hotel is the A-Lock, which is a Marriott brand hotel. Pets are okay. Uh, they've got a nice uh, breakfast service and there's a great balcony adjacent to the lounge. A uh, great place to have a cup of coffee, glass of wine, just wind down. It overlooks Biltmore Avenue. So you're right in the hub of everything. There is a parking garage, outdoor pool and fitness center. The second hotel is the Kimpton Hotel Eris. It is uh, the former B B B and T building, a big skyscraper in Asheville. They took it over, turned it into the hotel, and it is just uh, really popular with our clientele. They have a restaurant there called Bargello. I've never been able to get in. I need I need a reservation. I'm pretty sure they keep it open for the uh, guests of the hotel. They also have a bar area, lounge area called uh, District 42 and they offer small plates. A beautiful hotel, they do have valet service or car parking. The third hotel is another Marriott. It is the Marriott AC. They have a fabulous rooftop uh, lounge area serving tapas, just beautiful scenery to be seen. It's a, a fun place to meet and they, they do have a parking garage. The uh, fourth hotel, I know I just said we we're gonna do three, but I just couldn't stop. <laughs> The Foundry is a Hilton uh, Curio Hotel, meaning it's one of the smaller hotels. It is really, it's just a cool location. Dogs are okay. I think there is a deposit fee with that. Uh, check with them when making your reservation. It is just a, a cool little place. The restaurant that they have is called Bene, Bene on Eagle. The chef was nominated for James Beard, new chef. Uh, so just a phenomenal food. They have a great breakfast menu. I can't wait to try their breakfast. Maybe go for lunch because breakfast is over at 10.30 and I rarely get out of the house before 11. <laughs> so that was the Foundry, a Hilton hotel. And then the last hotel on our list is just Cat Daddy. It is the Omni Grove Park Inn. Built historic hotel. I believe it was built in the um, early 1900s. Uh, it is just a spectacular architecture construction. In the hotel, they have several restaurants. The Sunset Terrace is amazing. I had the Lobster Caesar and it was phenomenal. And the Sunset Terrace does overlook the golf course of the Grove Park Inn and on up to the mountains. It's simply a glorious hotel. And there's a spa and <laughs> it is amazing. Absolutely amazing. So if you're thinking of traveling to the greater Asheville area and want to know where to find the best entertainment, the best restaurants, maybe some adventure, so reach out to me for recommendations. Uh, if you consider moving to the area, we'd be delighted to help. We'd be honored to help. Again, I'm Cricket, Asheville Luxury Brokers. It's been a pleasure.